Welcome back to Terraria Legendary Zenith Mode. We've got some tunnels to build, which may or may not end up actually being particularly helpful. We want to get some plantera bulbs in useful places, right next to the arena and all that. Is this still a blood moon? That's not ideal. How much, how much more blood moon we got going? 11.30? Hmm. Can't really be constructing during a blood moon. And... That works. Go to the next morning here. Party, because we skipped the blood moon. Lovely. Now, oh, well, party is over, merchant is dead. That's just how it be sometimes. All these enemies that go through walls, always, a, always a situation. Anyways, get back down here. Worm down here. I'm trying to get rid of the. Obsidian here, so we're gonna replace it with jungly goodness. And this hornet agrees. Clearly. Okay. Get the explosives. I'm ready to go here. Jungle mimic. Just. Have that despawn. <laughs> Just solve all our problems here. <laughs> right. Let's keep on deal with all this. Over here. Not how large of an area you want to get rid of here. For pretty much the entire the obsidian section at least. That's a good starting point at least. How long we want these corridors to be? Probably pretty long. Let's get into areas where it's actually just mud. We can actually probably just not blow everything up. Probably not entirely necessary. We also have this core fight, which we can't blow up even if we want to. <laughs> the diamond is just not strong enough. The hardboard ore is too here. A few things we can deal with. That. You get rid of the background wall here. Got some jungly background wall. Probably technically fine. Land here. Just a regular enemy. Not a jungle mimic. Oh, it's a good time when you're not having to deal with the jungle mimic. Unfortunately, they do like to show up, since it is in fact the jungle here. It's kind of, kind of what they do. Also, I'm kind of looking for jungle grass seeds. Might be a helpful thing to have. We're gonna try to make a whole bunch of jungle grass areas in order to have the. My terrible will spawn on the jungle grass. Could be an idea. Got them. This is this a better hammer? Yep. This is a better hammer. Just a little bit. The hammer power does not seem to go up as quickly as the other ones. But honestly, it's fine. Very good pickaxe, though. Edge here. It's working nicely. Try not to blow up the 
actual arena quite as much. <laughs> Not generally what you want. Your arena to blow up. Let's pour in here. It's like Tanya would exploded. Probably fine either way. Just fine. On the core fine. That's alright. New guide is back. He got killed by a race last time. Good for him. And let's put that over here. Else, so the chest. That's fine. Oh, we'll loot that. No, staff of regrowth right there. Lovely. And we got a life fruit. I already have all those. That's okay. Now, eventually, if we keep going further, we're going to reach the jungle mimic. And then the parts that aren't technically jungle over here. Could still work. It's more jungly down here, so I think we're pretty much where we want to be on that front. Get rid of the last bits of the marble, whatever it is. <laughs> like this one right here. This chunk. Not very tool. That just makes it a different shape. This isn't exactly what you want. I think we probably start putting in the floors and such. It's going to be. We're sitting in a couple of city. Granite? Whatever. A couple of these guys here. They might have just spawned back to when it was still a place. I don't see any really left on the map here. Probably fine. Let's just put in some mud. Now, once we get down to the actual mud areas, it's not as necessary. Blow everything up. I don't think we have any use for more of those. Two gold each. Not bad. Not bad. We'll keep the dynamite on us, just in case we need to blow more stuff up. Could happen. What else could happen is we need some mud. Gotta make sure we bring the mud. Because it's gonna go into the box when we come back. Away from the jungle mimic. Alright. Mud time. I think we just make it three. There should be plenty of space. More opportunities for planetary bulbs. I'm just making these entire areas. It's gonna be a lot. I also want to get a nice amount of jungle grass spread happening. I think it only spawns on the actual jungle grass. I also have layers of this. Also be smart. Ways to get between the layers, perhaps. We're still getting, still getting these guys. Oh, is there more? They're more up above here. Aha. There's your problem. A continuation. Of the granite button. Look at this mess. Just a little bit more here. This is definitely more granite. Interesting that it is spawning maybe it's way over there. Potion statue. 
Make potions? Not as helpful as the actual stars and stuff. And hearts. Preferable. Can we blow up all this? Probably not. Morangles. Out of here. This also kind of needs... We need grass seeds. Run away from that jungle man again. My goodness. They are persistent. They are persistent. We have 16 jungle grass seeds. That's not a huge amount. That's what makes tunneling through pre existing. Help me. Dubbers. <laughs> If it makes tunneling through pre existing mud the better option here. It's all lit up. Oh, yeah. There is attack in this. I have a. Shortage of enemy spawns. That's for sure. If you want this to be, this is gonna happen. Oh, weird. Going sideways. Got confused there somehow. It's gonna take a little bit for the jungle grass to spread. Hmm. The other option is try to make giant pathways through the jungle here, which would eventually allow us to get to Plantera Bulbs, which are elsewhere. I guess that's also an option. And your jungle back. Here's some jungle grass. That's okay. Get some light. these solid layers does make it a little more difficult for things to get in here, at least. Hmm. Let's see. There's any obvious Plantera Bulbs on the map. I think we've ran across a few of them. It's gonna be... purplish. Trees. Are also similar color. We got all sorts of colors here. The jungle is not a great shape. There's all the bee chasms, some orcalcum, a life crystal. Not the easiest thing to spot. And then I zoom all the way in here. Yeah. Life crystal. Probably get rid of all the things that are similar color, make it easier to spot. I'm sure it's kind of like a snow jungle combo. It technically still needs to be underground. All the different color trees. It's a little less jungly this way. It's snowy there and shimmery and. There's a lot going on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's almost easier to just run around and look for it. Of course, with these caves, running around is also not the simplest thing. This is why I want to have them spawn nearby. One, because it's just easier to deal with. And two, because... It's just... Simpler. Uh, I do need to put some... Just one. I just really do not have a huge amount. Let's see if it can spread between layers. That could be nice. Oh, 
what's happening over here? Imagine with somebody. Huh? Good? Alright. This slayer already has a bit of jungly goodness. Straight through here. Perfect. Uh, Chlorophyte. Yeah, at least for this section, as long as it's the lower section still counts as jungle. But she probably will with the seeds going. It should be fine. It seems fairly rare to actually get the grass seeds for stuff. <sighs> constant constant jungle milk. It's a problem. At least we know it counts as a jungle. Oh, that's something. Ish. <laughs> something adjacent. I use a builder potion here would help too. How many enemies? 19 enemies nearby. It took a lot. Just trying to build things. Could use like calming potions or something. Might not be a terrible plan. Webs, also fun. See if the grass can spread down. That would obviously be preferable. <laughs> I did look up more info on how the Plantera Ball works. And it can only spawn in situations where it's far enough away from any other Planetary Bulbs. So if we wanted to just have a huge pile of Planetary Bulbs all next to each other, would it work? And it's a pretty significant distance away from the previous one, too. There's lava. Good. Take up space. Okay. This needs to be mud. Down again. Bob's going down. <laughs> Slowly. If we had a way to get way more jungle grass seeds, that'd be that'd be pretty nice. Would we'll speed this up quite a bit. Oh look what we have here. A heart statue. Well that's nice. Honestly, I will take a heart statue over the mag statue that we lost. This is better. We can just wait around for a second. In order to get mana back. Health regen is a little bit slower. All things considered. I'm gonna go place that in the array here. I'm gonna just place it where the other one already was. That'd work. You're just picking up money, sounds like it. Cobweb. Down here. Just be careful to not cover it in lava. Again. Alright, these guys are gonna go. And to try to not cover it in lava, we're gonna add a temporary cover here, I think. Just to be safe. 
It might look like we are stuck in a room here. That's not true. Not so true. Yeah. yeah, healing thing. I guess it only activates, activates on this one. There we go. Ah! That's another thing. Oh! Oh! Yeah, like that. <laughs> well, I guess that means it's kind of. We need to get rid of that one so that one can. The so other ones can spawn in. Could just be. Could just be going now. <laughs> it's kind of wild to think. How quickly we get ahead of ourselves here. Let's get some torches down in here. It's not so dark. I don't know if that helps at all with grass spread. I didn't say it does. Why not? open screen for that. Let me switch things while you're open. We'll be right back. With half of our gold. <sighs> Sometimes. Up here. Is less. We're not super concerned about money most of the time. It's okay. We're gonna put it away now. <laughs> we are gonna put it away now. Okay. One of these, one of these, one of these. Or geodes. I don't need any of these gems. They're nice to have. Potion statue. And chest here. Statues and other such things chest. It is. It's a process here. Okay. So the grass seeds away for now. And also, I think we need to shimmer the mushroom grass seeds. So that might also work. Want to do more on that front? Could be a good plan. What about these presents? There's all kinds of things. More outfits. A candy cane hook. Christmas pudding. Tree outfit. And Mrs. Claus outfit. Which ones of these we had already? Here is a massive pile of night vision helmets that we don't need that many of. Put these in here. Let's just keep fighting those guys. We're gonna get more of those. All right. 
One gold each for the night vision helmets, then. Not too bad. Depth meter, life fruit, glove, yo yo. Since the core. The horrors have arrived. Okay. That's actually pretty noteworthy. That is the solar eclipse. We want to. I'm gonna play with that. They can drop some things. And stuff. Got a little bit of health, too, don't they? They kinda just keep swinging the true knight's edge. That's easy. Everybody over there just dies in a fire. Help them along. Except for the distance here. Oh boy. <laughs> here come some guys. And also guys with range attacks. And some guys up here. They're out of mana. Running. Just keep running seems to be working. Yep. I think we have multiple laser guys out now. Which is not helpful. <laughs> to say the least. I think you guys like to walk into a walk into some fires there. How's that? How's that feel? Think it's like a good plan? I think it's a good plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can fight them. This is something we need to do, I think. We got a few of their drops. I think get more of that's also good. Get some regen going. Come back in here. into the fire. Do that goes for you. Yeah, besides laser guy, this is not even a problem. Wild. <laughs> the absolute number of kills we're racking up. Pretty impressive. Shell. 2400 health, 1800 health. Pretty impressive. Let's see exactly what these guys can drop. That's a good, good progress here. As long as we just keep at the top of the mana bar here, too. Let's just keep going. Turn around and fight those guys. Hilarious. 50 frits. 3,750 zombies. That, that's a few. There's some guys spawning down below. We have a few of the spaces. That's okay. The summons can eventually get down there. Deal with that. Oh. 
Is he anything? Oh, he probably has stuff in his mind. Hi, guy. That's the guy. That's the. Oh my goodness. Out of mana. There's a mimic. Den? Mimic den. Oh, pile of guys here. Definitely not. Hang on, back here. Let's go back to more magic. There's more chills here. Fire's out. Those guys get over here. There's a mimic in this pile. Yeah, well, we're ready for the mana recharge. True Knight's Edge is not too shabby. The Reapers can go through walls. Doesn't seem to be a huge deal. <laughs> Nobody seems to be able to go through fire, at least. So, that's positive. Okay, besides the eye guy, everything is just fine. Eleven oh six a.m. It's gonna go for a while. That's a big old sight. I think we tried that one. Let's reap up. Hi, guy. Looks like we can stun him from using his eye attack. Ocular Resonance. What do we got for that? There's a loot at all of this. Is that over a platinum? Should probably. Anyway. <laughs> right. You keep that over there. Stun on me. Let me just stun lock the eye guy. That's also all of our problems, basically. Get some mana. I'm gonna step on the mana things. Sneaky Reaper trying to come through the floor. Very rude. 2,800 health. The amount of damage we can dish out. Pretty respectable. I got it. Everybody's dying on the other side of the fire. Clouds dissipating. Some of our head out. More distractions could have right now. <laughs> We're still getting some guys spawning down below. I mean that's fine. He's a money farm, too. I also spam this a little bit harder when necessary. Not that it's necessary. Let's go. If there's any drops we want from here, we're probably going to be getting them. But with all of the kills we're getting. Got a little bit of knockback. That's okay. Everybody over there is just dying to all the defenses. We're just sitting over here. Attacking. Really it's pretty nice only needing to worry about one direction. Solves a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. 
Let's even play more of the Christmas presents here. Get some more buffs and stuff in that. There's a vampire, currently in bad form. 3,000 health, flying around, having a bad time. Exploding. 100 swamp things! Stuff spawn. Still being vigilant for that guy. He's a problem. <laughs> yeah, if things spawn in the underground there, eventually the defensive crystal will take care of it. What if it really is just a nice set of armor? Pretty convenient. Pretty convenient. Oh, the fire's dead. Can't be having that. Another scythe over there. This guy's over here. Got it. Fiftieth possess has been defeated. There's a mimic up top. Jin just bullied. <laughs> Maripa. Nice, nice big piles of loot here. We love to see it. Maybe like there's less. Enemies up top here. Well, I'll just be spawned down in the cave. Could make a movement here to bring get them up. Far more stuff. Oh, I up top here. Come back down. Reset some spawns and stuff. There's still an eye in there. I don't know how much that really worked. Yeah, it seems like more things are coming up. More things on this level, the more things that can die, the more everything will get. Platinum 96 gold. Yeah, the other guy is getting behind us does not help when we're trying to pay away. <laughs> or anything else. Ever. <laughs> That's a lot to drop. Ouch. <laughs> These guys have our money. I'll try to pick them up. Flying off into science here. Not a deal. Yeah, 18 gold, so. Looks like a solid no. No, we do not have all our things back. Feeling about this. Now, Blood Moon is rising. 
So we switch straight from one problem to another. There's a gold there. Let's heal up a bit. Because we desperately need it. And now it is Blood Moon. <laughs> right from a solar eclipse to a Blood Moon. My goodness. Problems. It's problems out here. Look at these things once we get back down there. Any, any spawns still exist? Hold on my money. Go down there. Oh, 3,800 zombies. That was one more goal. Oh. And yeah, nothing we really need from Blood Moons, though. So. Let's pick up all the loot down here. And yes, there's plenty of loot. That's for sure. Here. The present East Slime. Adorable. Okay. That's alright. Put some stuff away. Let's see what we got here. We got some rates. Those are coming. Sensitive walls. Stay up here so perhaps the NPCs will be okay. It's a process. This is getting out of hand. Agreed. Got candy cane hook. Oops, there we go. Decent, decent distance. I don't know if it's gonna be better than we currently have, though. It's hard to measure things outside when outside is full of monsters. Yeah, Neptune shells, phosphor stones, some new banners. Those are mine. Guess I killed a lot of the things in there. What the heck we got? Dual hooks, a broken bat wing, which is crafting to make bat wings. We currently have B wings. How does that compare? Went on a bit of a tangent here. That's alright. B wings. Pretty much exactly the same. In fact, exactly, exactly the same. B or bat wings. No. I don't really need that then. And it's phosphor stones. Yeah. Structure purposes. I think we already have this Neptune shell. Combined it to make the moon shell. We don't need those. Paintings we can put in a decoration chest. Should we desperately need to make more? Christmas pudding as another of the major improvements for four minutes kind of situation. Eye spring. Someone's an eyeball spring. Okay. Is a pet kind of thing. We have second dirtiest dirt block. Don't need a second one of those. We could definitely separate this chest out too. With all the different individual things. to here. Right underneath that mushroom. This one gets to... Oh, seems like it might be farther. Help me. Hit the side. And we picked up the mushroom. There's probably numbers on hooks here, too. Hooks. 
Apparently, it's a competition between the candy cane hook and the tendon hook. Both are going to be hard mode here. Tendon is 15-3. And candy cane. Candy cane. 25. 11.5. Doesn't seem like it's significantly shorter. That's odd. Can't can hook. I think that, that's just, it's not actually working. That's still using the other hook. Never mind then. I put this on. And now E. Definitely slower and worse. Okay. Good to know. I'm gonna sell that. Shopping. Another yeah, shark tooth necklace. Take the mushrooms. Stack that away. I don't have all the presents. We got a lot of presents. A good time. Candy cane sword, red rider gun, reindeer antlers. Another set of Mrs. Claus. Ugly sweater. Great. All sorts of fun stuff. Look at that. Hand warmer. Provides immunity to chill and freezing effects. Interesting. Don't need more of the Mrs. Claus set. A lot of those. I don't need a second wedding dress. I probably don't need a first wedding, wedding dress, to be honest. Mm. I mean, you need to chill. Freezing. I'm not sure that, that comes up too often. Godly death sickle. Love it. It's in here. Take out all of the regular old golden showers. And those either. Sell some more stuff. Shop. Another 34 gold. Well, let's not bring our money up to currently. 31 platinum. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Of course, we're obviously going to need more as we continue doing stuff here. Everything's full of cobwebs. <laughs> Where are these spiders coming from? They're not even the actual spiders. It's the things that have spidery attacks. I think that's the thing. Fix the walls here. If we had any mud on us. Let's go with a block that we don't have 20,000 of. Is it 20,000? Much here. Much here. Alright, so you get out of here. This guy. Yeah, fix this. Things can't get inside. I don't want to do that when I want to. Okay. Don't feel like this can go downwards. Torches are unlit. Somebody is. What is messing with stuff here? Unlit torches. What will they think of next? Obviously, unlit campfires. Also, unlit torches down here. Something's spooky. Something's being spooky. I guess 
sweet. This uncovered. Another the ball here. And now we're up here. These torches are also out. What's going on? This is mysterious. Oh, the jungle book. You're not right now. Really got out of there. That was perfect. Alright. This is set up. As well as it's gonna be. Turn back on the campfire. Something's being mischievous. Turn off our stuff. Very rude. Look, another jungle bear. Yeah. Give it the same one. We just kinda keep teleporting in and out. Torches. Just clicking on them. Oh, this gets rid of them. Weird. I look into why that's happening. Having that stop happening would be great. There is one additional change I want to make to the arena here. Just to make it better while running through the teleporters. Seems like there is a fade in and out. Ah. Is it, by any chance, the wires? Are the wires going through the torches and that turns them on and off? That's funny. Well, we might want to change that. Because this is just really, really annoying. Right, so we might move the wiring around slightly. And then also, what I want to do, let's see if there's anything we can do to light up the darkness here so it doesn't flash quite so much. And that is a good plan for Next time. Goodbye.